Yesterday morning on my YouTube feed, I happened to notice a video that featured one of my friends, Christopher Ferran, and in this video made by Brian Kwan, Christopher had taken this Mountain Dew Blast, and they took green coffee from Ethiopia and they put it through a post-primary fermentation process. Actually, I don't even know if it was fermented in the secondary phase. What this means is that you have a coffee that's already been fully processed, in its green state and what they did is they took the coffee put it into a container added the mountain dew blast and then pressurized it at 80 psi for i think two weeks or something like that and then dried it out again and pulled the shots while they were on the sca floor and i thought that was kind of interesting it seems kind of cool but it seems like a lot of work for that kind of thing so what i thought i'd do today is i'm going to make this mountain dew major melon with espresso Kind of the same thing, but more like an Americano style. Something that will hopefully be fun and enjoyable to try at home. So let's go try it. All right, so I've got this Mountain Dew Major Melon here in our lab with our espresso machine. And we're going to pull a basic shot over. Should be pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our shot. Now we're going to open our can and we're going to put, look at that crazy pink color. All right, this is a bit ridiculous. I think that'll be good. Now I'm using a bottomless portafilter so that I can fit the glass underneath. There's been a reaction here with the, I guess, the soda and the carbonization that I've actually never seen, but you can see this kind of like nice layering effect, right? That's kind of cool. All right, let's go back and uh, take it to a taste. All right, now it's time for a taste. As you can see, we've got some really interesting layering going on here. The major melon, the espresso, and then this really kind of exacerbated or really excited crema that is very interesting and as you can see here it seems to have gotten thicker since we actually poured the shot i think that's also a factor of this foam dissipating but i guess let's have a taste you know that's not bad actually <laughs> that tastes pretty good you know we're using an espresso that has a lot of chocolate tones nuttiness a little bit of fruitiness and it's really complementary to the sweetness of the major melon oh that's kind of fun so while that might have been brian and christopher's april fool's joke this is actually pretty fun to drink all right hope that helps see you next time <laughs>